Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are still waiting for my engine block back from the machine shop. So I figured it would be a great time to dive into these carburetors for the truck and get these things rebuilt, get them painted up, get them looking new again. These I got from my neighbor. I paid like 200 bucks for them. They're kind of grungy and they need quite a bit of work. So we're gonna completely strip these things down, rebuild them and give them a Cerakote job. We're gonna coat the manifold. We got a rebuild kit, we got all new leakages. We got a ton of work to do and I'm very excited because we're gonna make these ugly looking carburetors look amazing. So let's get right to it. So this is what we're starting with. These are Weber DCOE 40 millimeter. You can see obviously twin carbs for the truck. I bought a manifold from Pierce Manifold. This is a split manifold. And like I said in the previous video, I had, let's see this side here. You can see it's all, it's all ported out. It's port matched to the head. I had 22 RE performance. Jim, another shout out to you. Uh, crushed it on this head build and everything, but those are all port matched to the head. So that's gonna flow perfect. And we got the whole linkage kit and we got rebuild kits there. Well, I got these things torn down as far as I want to go. I was going to pull the shafts out, but these screws are an absolute pain to get out. And I got these ones out, but I can't get the shaft out now. And honestly, there's not really a reason for me to pull these because the bearings are good. I don't really need to pull those shafts. So I'm going to leave them in there. I'm going to buy some new screws for that one. And I think we're ready to go get these things cleaned up, blasted, and get these things painted.
Well, that is as far as we're gonna get today. We are waiting for some other parts. You can see this choke I was able to get going. This one, the gears were completely toasted. So waiting for a new choke for that side. I'm waiting for a new bottom cover because this one, you guys are gonna laugh. I tried welding it. This stuff is like freaking popcorn. There was a hole in it. And as soon as I put the torch to it, it completely just disintegrated. So I bought two new covers. This one's almost kinda the same way there's almost a little bit of a hole right there so these are just old and i'm not sure that just the casting on them is really crappy so waiting for that like i said the new choke and a few other things but i'm really really digging the look of these i'm liking the, the black with the bronze it's looking really good all right guys we got in all of our parts that we need to finish up these carburetors so you can see the bottom covers there we got a new choke which i already coated this choke so i think i'm just going to take these shafts they pop right out i'm just going to take them swap everything over just so that matches and then we got all these little pieces so some screws these little ball bearings apparently according to the schematic these 
go down into these holes here and they're supposed to be that little ball bearing at the end of it which these carbs didn't have any but looking at the schematic you can see right here 65 64 and 63 you can see that little ball right there and i've watched a few videos of people rebuilding these and theirs had that too so i figured if they fit i'm going to put them in if they don't fit then you probably don't need them so other screws for throttle plate these are just for the end shafts here along with these washers freshen those up and then this choke or this accelerator pump shaft was completely rusted out so i just decided instead of trying to screw with that one i just bought a new one so let's get these things together first things first we need to coat these bottom covers right here in the cerakote bronze to match the carbs so let's get that done and then we can get everything else together oh also i did find o-rings on what mcmaster car those fit they're just a touch, touch thinner than what these O-rings are, but I think they're gonna work just fine. And then I also bought a choke setup too, just so we, I am gonna try to run the choke on these obviously, or else I would've just bought all the block off plates. So I got the choke, everything ready to go. So let's coat these and then we can get these carbs back together. All right guys, we got a problem with this choke. So you can see on this one, the nut is on the shaft there. So you can take it all apart. This shaft has no nut and it's kind of, uh, I think it's just a squished or a mushroomed head on there. So we can't take this thing apart. So what we're gonna have to do is just kind of mask it off, mask off this lever and the insides a little bit. And then we're just gonna have to sandblast it and coat it with it kind of together just to get it bronze. And then we should be good. Everything else on these carbs is good to go. We're done guys, carbs turned out freaking amazing. I absolutely love this color on there with the bronze, the black. Now I may need to find a couple other little accents in red just to go with the valve cover with the oil cap and the uh, little grommets on the valve cover. But I think this is gonna look amazing in the bay. Better than new, I think this looks way better than raw aluminum. We had to take them apart anyway, so I figured we might as well coat them 
and make these things look even better. So that's a wrap guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the carbs as much as I do. I am ecstatic about them. I think they look absolutely perfect. Can't wait to get them on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.